Flora! That's it, I'm done. It's the last straw. I'm so sick of all of these chicks. That means I'm not gonna come outside ever again. No more mushrooms, no more hiking, no more camping. Flora, done. Flora, Flora. We can still go outside. <gasps> we can still enjoy nature. We just have to be aware and we have to be safe. Okay. We can do it. Okay. We can do it. So you're most likely to pick up ticks in grassy areas or the woods. But if you stay on the sidewalk, you're safe. They cannot fall on you from the trees, despite popular belief. <laughs> ticks do this thing called questing, where they will climb to the top of a blade of grass or some other kind of vegetation, stick their little creepy legs out and wait for a victim to pass by. And brush up against them so they can give you a big hug and then crawl into your crevices and suck your blood. Okay, I gotta get out of this grass. <laughs> a lot of ticks actually have eyes that allow them to detect color and motion. Not only that, they can detect your breath. CO2 attracts ticks, and when you're drinking alcohol, you produce more CO2, so you're extra attractive to them. Not to mention that a lot of ticks actually have a favorite cocktail, and that's type A blood. So if you have type A blood, you're more likely to get ticks than someone who doesn't have that. A lot of people are afraid of getting diseases from ticks, and for a very good reason. Ticks are associated with diseases. Very specific diseases. <laughs> Here in the Great Plains region, we have American dog ticks, brown dog ticks, lone star ticks, black-legged ticks, and Gulf Coast ticks. And here is a list of all the diseases that they carry. Wow. I can feel them crawling on the... the Diseases? The diseases. The ticks that carry the diseases. Ticks have three stages to their life. What are they, Fauna? Larva, nymph, and adult. Awesome. I do know that they have to have a blood meal in between each one in order for them to reach the next stage of their life. Which is kind of good news because those tiny larval ticks that are horrifically, horrifyingly small uh, are unlikely to give you a disease because they've never fed on blood before. Awesome. By the way, Lone Star ticks are the actual worst. They are coming for you. They sense you, they like humans, they come after them, they specifically feed on humans, they want your blood, they're coming for you, run. So how do you enjoy the great outdoors with all these ticks and diseases everywhere? Um, prevention. So if you're outside, just use 20 to 30% DEET products to prevent ticks. You can treat your clothes with permethrin and also just Check your body, um, especially every two hours at least if you're out for a long time. Not to mention your butt. Check all your cracks, crevices, your flaps, and your folds, and your friends. If you're looking for a non-chemical option, there are a few things you can do. Wear closed-toed shoes, tall socks, and long pants. If you want to be extra cautious, tuck those pants into those socks. It might look a little bit dorky, but it'll keep those ticks away from your body. You could also wear long sleeves and rubber band those sleeves to keep ticks from crawling. Once you get home, you're back inside, take your clothes off and throw them in the dryer for 10 minutes on high heat. It's been proven to kill every tick on your body, which is fine. Death is a part of nature. Death is a part of nature. Kill all the ticks. Don't forget to take a quick shower when you're done. That way you can get rid of the ticks that you can't see. Listen, ticks suck. We agree. But if you stay safe and you stay aware and you use prevention, you can still enjoy the great outdoors just like we do. All ticks were harmed in the making of this film. <laughs> <laughs> what are they, Fauna? Nymph, larva, larva, nymph, and adult. <laughs> Let's do that again. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> don't check your friend's flaps, though. That's <laughs> yeah, don't check your friend's flaps. <laughs> Unless they ask you to. With consent, you can check your friend's flaps. Oh my gosh. I thought you didn't know we were doing this today. Not the, not the actively getting ticks part. <laughs> Of course we're gonna get ticks. Of course we are.